This is a firefly petunia. The company Light Bio has genetically engineered a petunia to glow a light green that is visible in a dark room. It's a GEO, which is a tiny subset of GMOs, the genetically modified organisms. GMO stands for genetically modified organism. You and I are genetically modified since we're not clones. We all like genetically modified organisms since through crossbreeding we get new hybrids and humans have been able to improve crop yields, get better landscape flowers, uh, stronger and healthier cats, dogs, and cattle. Genetically engineered organisms are created by taking genetic information from one organism and putting it in a completely different type of organism. Genetically engineered organisms are a type of genetically modified organisms because modifications do occur. But the two terms do not mean the same thing, and GEOs, like this petunia, should not be described as GMOs. The firefly petunia has genes from mushrooms that naturally glow green, so it's genetically engineered. Even though it is always glowing, the green glow is only noticeable when the plant is in full darkness at night or in a dark room. It's hard to say I was underwhelmed when I saw it in the dark after a long day in full sun because I had low expectations to begin with. I've seen glowing organisms in the woods after dark and they don't glow very bright. This plant does not glow like its namesake firefly or lightning bug, which can be seen glowing brightly a long way off in the distance. I liken this to seeing the aurora borealis. You have to be in a very dark location away from any sources of light, and if you're lucky, you'll see a light green glow in the sky. The firefly petunia glows slightly green, which is most visible when you're in a very dark location and far away from sources of light. It does not light up its surroundings. Just as a long time-lapse photo of the aurora borealis looks much brighter than the aurora does in person, this petunia looks better in photos than in person. The brightest glow is found on tissue that is actively growing. The tips of flower buds and the new flowers and new leaves glow brighter than old flowers or leaves. And a lot of these are old flowers. They don't grow, glow that much. The brightest glowing parts do not grow, glow bright enough to light up the whole plant. The bioluminescent chemical reaction within the petunia that releases the light uses plant enzymes that can be reused by the plant to create more green light in an almost never-ending cycle. This is completely different from fluorescence, which absorbs light of one wavelength and emits light at a different wavelength. Many minerals, marine organisms, black light paint, fluorescent light bulbs all glow by re-emitting light from their environment. Petunias are easy to grow for many people, and this plant takes the same amount of care as any other petunia. If fertilized with something like you know, Jack's petunia food, it will grow to about one and a half to two feet across, but mostly they're gonna stay in the 10 to 12 inch range. Most people grow petunias as annuals that die in the first frost in the fall, but they are perennials that can be kept as houseplants during the winter. You'll probably want to do that for the, to get the most for your money out of this uh, plant because the growers have set a standardized price that is pretty high for a petunia. This plant cost me over $40. That's about 10 times the price of a normal petunia of this size. But the other plants don't glow in the dark. It took over 10 years to develop this plant and the engineers are working on other colors and other plants. So if you love the glowing plants in the movie Avatar, you can now have one of your own. And this is Jeff with a Greener View. Thanks for watching.